In this video, we're going to be simplifying thirds where we have to expand brackets. Now, the same rules apply with algebra. When you're expanding brackets, multiplication is always involved. So the likes of the first one here, we have a 3 outside of this bracket, which means it's going to multiply everything inside by 3. So 3 times root 2, first of all, will give us 3 lots of root 2. And then 3 times the 1 will give us 3. There's nothing more we can do with that one. Second one, we'll have root 3 times 5 giving us 5 root 3, and then a root 3 times a root 3, which becomes a root 9, or in other words, it's just the number 3. So we have a minus 3 in the end there. And then with double brackets, remember everything in one bracket has to multiply everything in the other. So we'll start off with a root 3 times a 1, giving us a single root 3. A root 3 times a root 2, a minus root 2 even, which will give us minus root 6. We then have a 2 times a 1, but a positive 2 and a 2 times a negative root 2, giving us minus 2 root 2. Now, w there's nothing more we can do here because the thirds that we have, root 3, root 6, and the root 2, root 2, um, none of them can simplify. But you would always want to make sure that the thirds you end up with, you would double check to make sure they can simplify. Two more examples. Another one with double brackets here. Do root 6 times root 2, which makes root 12. Root 6 times root 3 which will make root 18. A root 5 times root 2 makes root 10. And a root 5 times root 3 makes a root 15. Now we're not done yet because we have two thirds here that can be simplified. The root 12 can become a root 4 times root 3, which gives us a 2 root 3 in the end for that one. And the root 18 is going to become a root 9 root 2, which becomes a 3 root 2. After which, if we add a root 10, which cannot be simplified, and a root 15, which cannot be simplified, there's nothing more we can do there. Lastly, when we've got a bracket being squared, it's the same as that bracket multiplying itself. So we can write this out. There is also a shortcut, but I won't mention that in this video. Um, so root 3 times root 3 will give us root 9, or in other words, 3. Root 3 times a negative 4 gives a minus 4 root 3. Minus 4 times root 3 gives us another minus 4 root 3. And then negative 4 times negative 4 will give us a positive 16. After which there is some simplifying that can be done here. The 3 and the 16 can both be combined to make 19. And the minus 4 root 3 take away another 4 root 3 is going to get us to have minus 8 root 3. Done.